Hey, what's going on, Trap Watchers? Today is August the 2nd, 2021. We are going to talk about Quartz Eric Gaming. I, I think uh, sometimes a while ago, there's been a couple of videos, there's been a couple of articles about this particular product, and we wanted to come in and do a price prediction to try to see whether or not Quartz Air should you buy before the next quote unquote big breakout, right? We're going to see if the market is going to hold some support give us some new life and try to go higher in price before I break all of that down again. If today's your first time ever seeing our video, hit the like button, share the video and also subscribe. One thing we do not do, we do not hype up stocks. We don't pump stocks. We don't say that every stock is a buy. We actually need to be real with our community members and let them know if we see weakness and to expect the price to go down, right? We got to be unemotional when it comes to trading stocks, when it comes to investing in these markets because your emotions literally would dictate whether or not you will win or lose i think a lot of people miss out on how they react to market movement price movement and pay more attention to technical indicators and fundamental analysis and earnings reports and tweets and those things are irrelevant when it comes to your understanding of how the market operates and how you react to price movement the less emotional you are, the more understanding you can see how the market really works, right? So just something I want to drop to you all who watches our videos, who's part of our community, part of our subscribership. Definitely want to make sure that you kind of check your emotions on how you all view the markets, right? So check this out. Let's talk about uh, course error real quick. You guys can see that this particular price has sustained a very good support area right here so let me show you okay because one thing that the trap does he gives us clues he drops evidence into the markets that we can actually utilize to get an understanding as to where the price is going to go i just don't understand why people call the market manipulated but yet still you still come in and try to make money if you understand that the market is manipulated not in your favor why in the world would you participate quit saying that the market is manipulated and go somewhere else but getting still those people continue to come in and try to make money it's just astounding at how people think they continue to try to tell you that the market is manipulated but getting still he drops us clues and evidence every day as to where the market is going to go so ask yourself the question is it really a benefit to have the market manipulated because you know what look at this right here he has confirmed that the market support for course air is around $29.50 to $30 like the majority of the price action in course air has been hovering around that particular number this is where the basis of where market price is going to go is going to be made as long as we come back up above this ascending line right we understand that the market support is going to be maintained and that the probability of higher price moving in corsair is still there so we need to focus in on this horizontal line it's just that simple so now one thing i also tell our community members is pay attention to volume that is a dead giveaway as to what actually happened and looking at the result of what occurred, right? So we've seen the market in Corsair on June 14, 2021, see this massive climactic volume bar, right? And this is the price action right here at the top. Okay. The market in Corsair since that time take a look there's no there's no indication there's no lying being seen on these price charts if the market in corsair off of all this volume was truly strong was truly bullish we wouldn't have seen this market in corsair go down it's just that simple if the market in corsair really was strong everyone who participated into this market would have bought up and the price would have went higher instead of going down so what do you really think happened on that day that we've seen all that high volume what do you think there's only a, two things that can happen into the market buying and selling that's it 
So off of all this high volume, right? Majority of the participants in this stock was selling. It's just that simple. It's nothing hard, nothing complicated about it. If the majority of this volume was buying, then the market price would have shot higher, but it didn't. So whoever came in on June the 14th, 2021 sold majority of their stake in Corsair. Now, why would they sell? Are they expecting the price to go lower? Because obviously <laughs> it has. So they said, let me get out the way. Let me take all this profitability while the market price in Corsair is trade around 37 to $40 to 42. Let me take my profit now because I already know that the market in Corsair is going to go lower. Now, I want you to see this, too. We got earnings coming up. OK, August the 3rd, which is tomorrow. The trap is going to play on that. And it might be another indication to where you guys can see the market in Corsair kind of get us another spurt higher. Right. That's why we're trading alongside this this uh, horizontal line It's because he's trying to trick people into thinking that he's going to bounce the market on this, this this horizontal line again just like we did right there on may the 11th we did it again on march 25th we even did it on march the 5th so he's going to act on this right but guess what the long-term time frame already has garnered what the market of course is trying to do so let me show you this So right now we're in a downtrend. So that's why this earnings, he's going to try to move the market higher. So we need to substantiate. Okay, cool. The market's going to go higher. How high can it go? Thirty-one dollars and thirty-eight cents. What about thirty-four? Those would be the areas right there. Uh, thirty-one dollars and twenty-five cents to $34 okay right there this is the weekly time frame into the market of course there the downtrend is intact right I want everyone to get confused we are in a downtrend into the market in course in course air excuse me okay this is where we at So this is the ballpark. This is where the game is going to be played. This is where we can expect price to go and find some rejection and support. Right now, our expectation, seeing that we are bouncing off support, is to see a bounce. That will be our expectation, but it doesn't mean that that's going to happen. Okay? So we got a very wide area that we can see this price in Corsair move very wide so let's take a look at how we ended the month of july so now here for the month of july it is weak right it is so from a monthly basis at least like in the next 30 days next 60 days for us to go lower is still on the table it is now, can we see bouts of buying and, and the market go higher? We sure can, which is why we want to show you $31.25 to 34. As long as price doesn't break up above 34, we already know the long term view and the market in Corsair is for it to go lower in price. OK, that's where we're going to go. This is it on the three weeks time frame, and I'm, I'm not really bullish into the market at all in Corsair. This is the reason right here. It's because this market was being sold off. Whoever was coming into the market, of course, there was selling a lot of their shares in the market. Right now, the market tried to profit up like there was a lot of hype. There was a lot of interest in Corsair during this time period. But now we broke that area. So that even gives us more credibility that the market in Corsair is not overly strong. Okay, so now this is what we're going to do. Okay, yes, initially from out the gate, 
the market price of Corsair can see some higher prices because of its earnings release. The trap is going to play off of it. That's why we've just been hovering right here around support. So when that market goes higher, it's going to trick a lot of people into thinking that Corsair is going to go all the way back up to 36 to 38, which is why I want to show you all $31 to 25 cents to 34. The price doesn't break above 34. We understand that this movement higher is not real. Okay. So let's go ahead and play the market in course air. Uh, for us to break this overall trend to the downside, the next level would be like $26 back down to 24. So I told you around $34 is where the weakness, as long as price doesn't break above 34, we understand that the long-term view is still lower in price, okay? So now it kind of seems as if the market price in Corsair has went down faster. So we still got a lot of area to cover for the market to even come up to around 34, I mean to 36 to 38. So if market breaks above 34, we understand that the next restriction area is gonna be around 38 to $40, right alongside this descending line. All right, so to be prepared for that. So now I told you that our first area TP into the market, of course, there would be around 26, then down here towards 24 is how we're going to play that one right there. Okay. So now this is it. This is the play. This is where we're expecting the market to move uh, in course air. You guys can see that we are in a downtrend. And currently, like I told you, I don't want you to get a call, get off, get caught off guard and not expect the movement to go higher, which is one of the reasons why I would be expecting us to try to get a little pop into the marketing course here tomorrow on August 3rd or whenever their earnings release come out so that the trap can actually try to move and sell some of his product into the market and try to convince people that course is going to be a buy. Right. That's why I wanted to extend out our restriction area towards 34 okay so let's see how the market plays now this is what we think i want you all to tell me what do you all see into the market in corsair let me know do you think the price is going to higher or lower it's just that simple this is what we're expecting so far because based on the charts we're here seeing a lot of weakness coming through okay so now let us know make sure you maintain the profitability and as always i'll see you on the next one